Assembled to participate as principals or as witnesses in one of the most sacred of earthly ordinances. Marriage is an institution and is a fulfillment of divine command. It was and is ordained of God from the beginning. Neither is man without the woman or woman without the man in the Lord. Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Who giveth this bride away in marriage? There are really three parties to this compact, the state, the church, and you. The state, because of its, con of its concern with the welfare of society. The home which you build is the foundation of society and is indispensable to a righteous and enduring nation. A nation can be no stronger or better than the homes which form the cornerstone of its foundation. So let your home now and forever foster the great and lasting virtues of honesty, industry, thrift, benevolence, and patriotism, that they may be one of respect and a monument to God, the Church. Because it is through its holy power that your marriage is sanctified, it is through the power of the priesthood that your lives are to be united and consecrated unto holy purposes. May faith, the hope of immortality, and an understanding of the eternal nature of marriage sustain you. You imply in the ceremony to take God into partnership with you in this marriage, with a promise to sustain him as you look to him to sustain you. May you be ever prayerful and humble in doing so. You as a principal parties have come together of your own free will and choice and volition, out of love you bear for each other. And this love is the basis of your union. If you preserve it, and you may, through adequate consideration for each other, you will reap boundless joy and find sublime happiness. If you are considerate and understanding of each other's opinions and viewpoints, your love will make for peace and harmony, and will be the supreme benediction of your wedded lives. I charge you to cherish this love as a priceless treasure. There are a few, you may call pearls of wisdom, that I believe will help in marriage and in life if applied fully. One, speak softly. It is a language of peace, a language of love, the language of God. So speak softly and be calm and be mindful of your tone. Two, be mindful that the message you send, verbal or nonverbal, may not be the same message that was received. Seek understanding always. Number three, never let a problem to be solved become more important than a person to be loved. Don't lose that perspective. Four, you don't always have to be right. You can agree to disagree. 
Number five, lastly, remember that the things that matter most must never be at the mercy of things that matter least. We've all heard of this prayer of serenity. God give me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Do you have the ring? Ready, repeat after me. As you place the ring, the ring on Ola's finger. With this ring I be wed and promise to love you forever. Ola, please repeat this after me as you place the ring on Reggie's finger. With this ring I be wed and promise to love you forever. These rings given and received as a token and pledge of the covenant between you. The circle is a symbol of its eternal nature, for the ring has no beginning and goes on forever without end. So should your love be without end. Please take each other by the right hand and repeat after me. And Reggie, you'll be first. I, Reggie Keone Numi Torres, Take thee, Tamar, Eileen, Kamal, Leola, Yulin, Knight. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to love, honor, and cherish you. As long as we both shall live. Do you, Reggie? Hereby promise to observe all the laws, covenants, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and this you do of your own free will and choice in the presence of God and these witnesses. Oh, let me see that for me. I, Tamar Eileen Kamaliola, Newlin Knight, take thee, Reggie Keone Numi Torres. To be my lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to love, honor, and cherish you as long as we both shall live. Do you, Ola, hereby promise to observe all the laws, covenants, and tamar, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and this you do of your own free will and choice in the presence of God and these witnesses. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Hawaii and an el as an elder of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I pronounce you, Reggie Keone Numi Torres, and you, Tamar Eileen Kamali Ola Mulin Knight, husband and wife, legally and lawfully wedded for the period of your mortal lives. May God bless you and your union with joy and in your posterity and a long life of happiness together. <coughs> and may he enable you to keep sacred covenants that you have now made. These blessings I invoke upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You may kiss each other as husband and wife. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Reggie Torres. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. 